Well, my legacy is we got a lot of young people excited about science, I think. That's minimally. Uh, in the English-speaking world, and apparently in the Spanish-speaking world, a lot of people watch the show. I can't speak Spanish that fast. That's not my, you can tell, it's not my voice. Wow, guy talks fast. I guess I talk fast in English as, as it goes. So this is the original rules of the road. This is a document I gave to everybody who came to work on the show. And our objective was to change the world. And ultimately, in the future, uh, the United States would be the world leader in science and technology, making the best transportation systems and environmentally responsible uh, engineering works for the future. So that was really the goal of the show, to change the world. So if somebody who watched the show uh, were to cure cancer, that would be pretty gratifying. If somebody who watched the show uh, were able to uh, come up with a, something that really uh, helped us get a lot of energy cheaply in an environmentally responsible way, that would be really good. Or groups of people, that would be really good. But the idea was really, um, was big. Uh, So-called uh, BHAG, big hairy uh, idea. So we'll see. I mean, it's still people coming of age uh, right now would be the, to produce um, the best transportation systems. Uh, the trouble right now is I need reading glasses, but we'll see if it works out. So this is the rules of the road is based on on uh, the Roadrunner. So you may not have thought about this, but the Roadrunner is always on the road. The Coyote, he can jump all over the place in the desert, and uh, but. In the bird's eye view, when the road goes like this, so does the road runner. And so that one constraint shapes the whole cartoon series. And this is a, a fundamental idea that I just, you gotta, to, to the next generation, the next science guy, the next Mr. Wizard, uh, whoever he or she is, I say, be true to the science and, uh, and just stay on the road.